Most women have this answer when they want to do something like, Oh my god, stop being insecure. I'm like, I'm trying to secure your private part right now. This is not insecurity. This is... And, and fun fact, she was American, and the guy she was dancing with, he was from uh, Mexico. Like, this I thought the embassy was... Hello everyone, my name is A Mess With The Facts. You're now watching the AWF series, and of course we make the unknown. Known. That's right. <laughs> And right now we're here at the great city of Dew. Bye, baby. Yes, and right now we have a very special guest. He actually roasted a lot of people, including myself on stage. I've never been roasted before, and they brought me up on stage. It was a great uh, twist at the end, and a uh, great guy, great talent, and he goes by the name of Mr. Monse Bumaza, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Monse, how are you? Fantastic, man. So, Mr. Munson, may you please tell your fans and your future fans who you are and what you're all about? So, I do stand-up comedy and uh, I'm a stripper, but that's for uh, private parts. <laughs> <laughs> so, they did a move. I'm not <laughs> The move was like this. I will, I will <laughs> do that because it was, it was this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm uh, all the way from Algeria. I don't know, some people, they don't know that. They, like, they think it's Nigeria, but either way, it's in Africa, so yeah. That's, uh, that's who I am. <laughs> nice. And also, like, uh, you made some great skits. Like, for instance, like you talked about a Chihuahua can enter the United States while Algerians cannot even enter the embassy. Can you, like, pinpoint on that? Well, the thing it was the story about a woman who traveled with uh, her dog, business class, from Monte Carlo to Miami. And me, as a human being and as an Algerian, I couldn't get a visa. So I was like, how come a Chihuahua? can get a visa and not me. And fun fact, Chihuahua are Mexicans. So I'm like, usually they're not allowed over there. So, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> you know, I'll say this, like, you know, I don't see a whole lot of comedy like this. It's like watching Death Comedy Jam in the US. Like there's a lot of like risky type of jokes, that were, like racial jokes, sexual jokes. But it, I didn't know that like stuff like that could happen here in Dubai, but it shows like you guys like, yep, it can happen here in certain places. Well, it can happen, but the thing, it happened, but we don't show it to people because we don't want to get deported. Uh, <laughs> and do you know, you deport me to my country, third world, Algeria, I don't want that. <laughs> Which is beautiful, you should visit. Uh, I don't think you will come back, but you will love it. <laughs> Last trip. So they were like this, and he, he, moved, he moved this way, and he keep moving, and keep moving, right? And my girlfriend, I'm like, this is wrong. And then my girlfriend came and she was like, I was like, I'm not okay with that. It's like, oh my God, you're so immature. I'm like, but why are you wet? And then, so- you know, There was another skit that you mentioned before about benchata. Like I never heard, I never heard anyone comparing benchata. Like usually when you hear the term benchata, it sounds romantic, like you said, but the way you explained it was it had like a more of an epic twist. Can you explain that a little bit more? Well, actually, I came up with it tonight, uh, today. Like, literally, I was thinking about the girl I was dating, and I was like, what was her red flag? I'm like, she's a bad child. Like, hell no, that's, we're not gonna do that, because that dance, it's literally like a porn with a cloth. Like, you're like, you, here, here, if you want to watch porn, you need to turn on VPN. That's the same thing with that dance. I mean, yeah. I mean, don't, don't do that. The, don't even, yeah. If you're a woman and you're like, yeah, I'm a bachata dancer, Red flag, get out. <laughs> wow. We're out. You know, because the funny thing was, I was actually about to take a Ben Chata class, uh, which is like, like near our partial one. But since you told me that, I'm like, wow, like, should I or should I not? <laughs> well, for a single man, I, I literally, I literally <laughs> advise to do bachata dance, actually, if you're single. But if my girl was like, yeah, I'm going to do bachata like three times a week, I'm like, well, technically you're cheating on me three times a week, so right. let's not do that. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Because every time she finished her classes, she's so wet. I'm like, I never did that to her. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bachata. I don't know who created that. Must be a pervert guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I just want to say, uh, like, when is your, like, your next comedy act where, where people can actually follow you and also do more? Uh, stands for you. How can people follow you and how should, where's your next show gonna be? So it's so it's different places around Dubai. So we have like, so there's Comedy Kicks and uh, Mad Cat and the Flamingo and Just Life. So these four top comedy, they, they have different scenes here in Dubai. You have in uh, GLT, you have in uh, TCOM, you have in Albarsha, you have in Production City. So just, just check their page or just follow me and I share on stories which places I'm performing. Nice. And you can follow me at AMS with the facts on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, and more. And once again, guys, we make the unknown. Known. <laughs> Take care. <laughs>
Hello everyone, my name is Amos with the Facts. You're now watching the AWF series, and of course we make the unknown. Known. That's right, and right now we're here at the great city of Dew. Bye. Yes, and not only that, but a very special guest. He's a very talented comedian. I think he said that he was half Indian and half Filipino, because right. he, he was using those two races the most. And he did a very great job uh, displaying his feelings and emotions onto the crowd. He goes by the name of Mr. Joshua, Mr. right here. Mr. Joshua, how are you? I'm great, how are you doing? I'm doing all right, so Mr. Joshua, me please tell your fans and your future fans who you are and what you're all about. So I'm a stand-up comedian based here in Dubai, UAE, born and raised, and like he correctly said, half Indian, half Filipino, so that's basically my whole act. It's a pot of jokes over there, and I also have a podcast with my wife, so shout out to myself. It's called Half a Nice Day, please do check us out. Well, I also want to say congratulations. You mentioned that you were recently married? Yes, correct. January of this year. Oh, so you actually started uh, this year in a new step. Yes, so everything happened so fast, so I got a new job, wife, got a dog, so yeah, a lot of things has happened this year, so more power to next year, I hope. See, I don't know about now, but back in the like the 90s and before, that was like the typical American lifestyle. Like We have like a house, a backyard, a dog, two kids, upstairs, downstairs, and we're set. Yeah, so I think here it's a little bit different. Um, never thought about buying or anything, but yeah, still living the good life, still happy doing shows, meeting awesome people like him, so can't complain. Well, I also want to say um, on your comedy app, uh, just one question, like how do you uh, create your jokes? I know you have your script, mm -hmm. and um, like, how, like, how do you brainstorm and put these like uh, elements together? Like for me, I'll be honest with you, I never, be honest, I'm serious, yeah. I've never done any comedy acts. When those two comedians call me up on stage, uh, I'll just go in with the flow and improvising. Yeah. Um, but like, you guys seem professional. And one thing I know about comedians, you guys are good at roasting people. Like, like how? Like, how do you guys like figure out jokes and just throw insults? Like, how do you guys do that? So it's a gift to have. So, so the way I write jokes is basically, um, I write it word. I so I write the whole story basically, and then from there I trim it down, try to make it a little bit funnier, and then try it a few times until I actually find my voice when it comes to that joke. Roasting for me has always been there. I like to roast people a lot. Like, um, I don't know if you met Anand a while ago, but him and I used to do uh, roast battles here in the UAE. Mm -hmm. So we try to roast each other. Um, but this, the, the community over here of comedians is really tight. Like, we do run by our jokes past each other. Nice. Um, and they say that, like, my comedy all comes from a place of truth, but I would like to say, like, an exaggerated truth. So it's like, yes, I do have elements that are really personal to me but at the same time I like to like spice it up and just throw things here and there. Excellent. Because the reason why I'm asking is that being a comedian, uh, they said before, when you're on stage you gotta make people laugh. Yeah. And behind the scenes, are comedians are like also funny behind the scenes or more ser or more realistic? Uh, so I'm actually really um, quite serious when it comes to being a person. Like I I take everything else in my life seriously. Um, I try not to be a comedian at home because it does get tiring sometimes. Ooh. Uh, so I do have a, like a sort of switch, but um, with when I'm with my other comedians and when I'm when I'm with my friends, I guess it automatically turns on. But yeah, I'm not funny twenty four seven. But uh, yeah, I just I like to make people laugh. Like I truly believe that making people laugh is the is I I truly believe that laughter is the of the soul. I don't know if I can say it over here, but I truly believe that, and I think like. Especially here in Dubai, uh, being a comedian, especially with people who are like away from their families, like especially you, like you come from like a 16-hour flight, I guess, and like making people laugh from all walks of life is truly a gift, and I think that's that's what Dubai is really all about. You know, how can you make True like that. in our room today there was someone from Kazakhstan, there was a Spanish guy, a Lebanese, and all were laughing at the same joke. So it's right. like it's really beautiful to have everyone come together and just you know like take a Wednesday off and just laugh it off. Well, I just want to say um, you were a great guest once again. You were a great so comedian. Much. Is there anything else you want to share to the people out there? Um, like I said, you can follow me on Instagram. I hate saying this. It's so cringy to say, but my Instagram is haha Josh uh, with two H's because I think this, the one with single H is already taken. And you can follow my podcast, which is called Half a Nice Day Podcast on YouTube, Spotify, wherever you get your podcast from. Excellent. And you can follow me at Amax with a fax. Remember, this F A C T S, not F A X, on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and more. And once again, you have now seen the AWF series, and we make the unknown. Known. Take care. Thanks. Minus the benefits, of course. <laughs> and then the Sun Patrol. But then I thought about it again, guys. I'll never actually be an Emirati. That's because I don't speak the official language of this country. 
Malayalam. Yeah. And I also know I'll never be Emirati, guys, because I like to use the indicator whenever I switch names. Yeah. That's not a joke. Emirati men don't use the indicator, guys, because they're busy on Snapchat. And of course, it's rude if you don't reply to someone when you're on Snapchat. And you know Emirati men, they don't want to come off rude. 